Hey there guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today, now yesterday you saw me put up a tutorial on how to do a rolling or a rotating overlay for Twitch on XSplit. Obviously as you can see today we're on OBS, uh, the second of the popular streaming applications and today once again I'm going to be showing you how to set it up on this thing, OBS, that's the one I was looking for. On OBS is actually slightly easier than on um, XSplit. I've got the thing sitting in front of me and I still can't even remember its name. But uh, yeah, on OBS it is slightly easier than XSplit. But I'm going to take you through uh, Anyway, just so you can, you know, see how it is. Now I'm going to open up World of Warplanes first. Just so I have actually got the game ready to put in just to show you guys. It's not actually something I'm going to be playing. But uh, there we go. That's World of Warplanes open. I'm going to need to wait for it to load before I can tab out. There we go. Holy crap. That was loud. But anyway, I'm going to get into it now. I'm going to get rid of my webcam now. Uh, you'll be able to hear my voice still. But I'm going to get rid of the webcam. And I'll show you as if you're actually setting up properly. Now... Obviously, on OBS, you start with the black screen, same as XSplit. Um, it doesn't really matter what way you do this. You can, like, you can put the overlay in first, you can put the game in first, you can put the webcam in first. But first off, I go to Add, and then I go to Game Capture. I don't, oh, why are you not showing up on bloody... La la la. I know why it's not showing up. Let me be right back. So, add screen. Engine. Sorry about that, guys. I had it set up in a certain way, but it was literally recording the base OBS window. It wasn't recording anything else. So, yeah. Anyway, now we've got that up. You go here, add, and then, for example, for the game, I go to game capture, call it whatever I want. World of Warplanes, okay. That's what I'm playing. I want to stick that in. Again, same as we explore. I'm going to need to go into it to actually get it to come up. But there we go. We've got it loaded up now. Next, you want to go to add. Again, same as XSplit. With this time, you don't need to download anything because it's already in here. But you go to image slideshow. OK. And then we well, here you've got a few more options. You've got the fade in only. Uh, if you want them to fade into each other, then... Uh, untick this, either that they'll black out and then fade in, kind of disappears for a minute, but if you untick, untick, fade in only, it'll fade smoothly if you want it the other. But I like it to just switch crisp, clean, clean and smooth, so I always click disable fading. Now, same as it, it's pretty much the same as X split for this point onward, you just go to add, find your documents, uh, the pictures, and as I said in yesterday's video, it all depends on how many sponsors or then basically whatever information you want to change in this rotating overlay. It all depends on how many slides as it is of information there are. For example, in this one, there's four sponsors: Bacon K, D2K, Elitist Club, and Gamer Peer. So there's four different. Um, Four different files to import. Now, obviously, as with any overlay that you're making, it has got to be a PNG file so you can see through it. So what you do is you import the PNG files, however many there are. There's four here. It could be five, could be six, could be however many you've got. Then you hit OK. Now, OBS doing what it always does makes it absolutely huge compared to it. So I'm just going to get it in there. There we go. Now next, you would add your webcam. I already have my webcam in, so I could talk to you guys at the start. But you'd again go to Video Capture Device, click OK, choose your webcam for that drop-down list. Mine's just right there, HP Webcam. Uh, you'd click OK, but because I've already got mine, I'm just going to hit um, that. And then I'm going to move that up to the top. I don't know where my webcam's disappeared to. I hate it when it does this, but... Um, because we've got XSplit open, XSplit for some reason takes the uh, priority for the webcam, which kind of sucks. So it's not coming up in here, even if I refresh, it is... 
well, refusing to come up, but you would then scale that down to the viewport as well. Remember, on OBS, like, mine's is set to 169 resolution. If you want to change the resolution, just click it to edit the size and hold shift, that way it will let you edit it. So, just imagine my webcam's there, to have it set to that resolution, and then I would move it down behind the slideshow, whether you want to right click, order, move down, or if you select it, hold control in your keyboard and then press up and down, it lets you move it about as well. So yeah, there you go, the final out, the final product will be the same, uh, I'll just get it up now for you guys to see, final product will look the exact same whether you're doing it on um, OBS or XSplit. Oh, I keep forgetting their names. I don't know why. But, um, yeah, as you can see here, this is the final version. You can see the webcam there and sponsors rotating through like that. That'll be the effect you get. Obviously, however long you want it between the switch, that's down to you. That's in the preferences. Uh, as I said to you guys, I've got it set to about five seconds normally. But, uh, you can see there I've got it set to five seconds, but that is completely your preference. So hope you guys enjoyed the uh, video. I hope this helps. If there are those of you that have been wanting to do a rotating overlay, and make sure to like the video if it helps you out, guys. As I said in the one yesterday, if there's anything you need help with, any um, let me just add a webcam in real quick again. And my webcam. There we go. As I said yesterday though, in the OBS version of the video, if you didn't, if there's anything you need help with that you think I might be able to help, leave a comment down below. Uh, if there's any other things that maybe you could offer to other people, make sure to leave a comment below as well. You know, that's what the comment section's there for, so is to help each other, leave feedback in the videos, and all around just to be a help to everyone. And yeah, so if you do have any issues with it, I will try to help, but go back, re-watch the video, take it step by step, take your time with the video if you need to, to get it right, and hope this one has helped you, and hopefully it will let you put a better live stream on, better streaming experience for your viewers, for your viewers' freaking sexy faces, because I know all you that are watching this, you have amazing viewers, um, but yeah, that's how you do it, hope you guys have enjoyed it, and uh, See ya.